I'm in my new car I just bought about a month ago. The 2021 Honda Civic. It's a really good car. I really need to start doing more videos about this car, but I just wanna see what this camera can do when it comes to car photography. Right now I have the 20 millimeter lens on it. So, so let's see how things turn out. So I think the first thing I'm about to do is go get my car washed. And then after that, I'm gonna find a spot to take some pictures. By the way, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit thumbs up and let's get on with the video. So I'm here at Quick Car Lube and Auto Care. It's kind of like my neighborhood car wash. You can also get like an oil change and stuff like that done here. So, and they're usually pretty fast about washing your car and also if you need to get oil change, stuff like that. So I, I decided to go ahead and come here real quick and then we're about to do this photo shoot. All right guys, so I'm finally here at the park. Finally got my car detailed and washed on the outside and everything. And I'm ready to start shooting with my Lumix G7. So I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and pointers. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be shooting on the 20 millimeter lens. It's a f1.7 aperture, which just means that it, it does a pretty good job of blurring out the background. So my goal is to try to get some shots where I can see the majority of the car or pretty much the entire car at first, but also try to like blur out the background as much as I could, can. I chose a parking lot on purpose and I didn't park to the, like at the edge of the curb or too close to anything because I want to be able to kind of blur out those backgrounds a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start out by getting like some low angles, um, maybe even possibly get some higher up angles. But with the 20 millimeter lens on here, remember it's a it's a four by third sensor camera. So that really means that it's operating more like a 40, it's, it's operating more at like a 40 millimeter lens, which means that's kind of tight, but not that tight. Not as tight as a 50 mil, but wide enough for, so I don't have to back up too far to be able to get the whole car in focus and be able to just get some cool shots. So let's, let's go ahead and see what I could do. Okay guys, real quick, I wanna show you the settings that I'm gonna be having and using on this camera. Right now, I have the camera set to, it's, it's basically an aperture mode where the camera's gonna let me control the aperture, but the camera's gonna control everything else on the camera. So right now I have my aperture set to 1.7, which is as wide as it can get because I really wanna try to blur out that background. And then everything else is set to what it's already set to. I think my ISO is at 1600. I already know that's way too bright, but I'm gonna take a picture for you guys so you can see how that turns out. Yeah, so that's kind of, that's a little bright. That's a little bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my, my ISO, which is right here. Hit that button. Probably bring it down to as, as low as it can go right now, which is 200. So let's go ahead and see how that looks with the camera. It's kind of hard to like operate two cameras at the same time, y'all. All right, let's see how that looks. Boom. So those are the type of shots I'm gonna be getting on the camera. Just so you guys can know. So one thing I can say that I'm kind of noticing uh, about the shots, I mean, they're good shots, but I'm not really blurring the background out as much as I really want to. But that's just mainly because the lens itself is only at 1.7 and then it's on the crop sensor camera. So it's not as wide or it's not as blurry and creamy as it's going to be, but it's still okay. It's, it's still enough to see that there is bokeh and kind of have a separation between the background and the actual car, but it's still dope. Uh, I'm also getting kind of like an angle that's like a diagonal. I'm not going like straight on at the car. Like I feel like that, that's like boring. If I just get a shot of just like straight up at the car, you don't really see every detail. But um, all in all, the shoot's coming together pretty well. I still feel like these are going to be very, very usable shots. Um, maybe they look better from, ooh, this is a good angle. Kind of like not necessarily directly diagonal, but kind of like offset. I don't know. Let's, let's see how this looks. I'm going to take that shot. Oh yeah, that was pretty creamy. It's pretty nice, and I'm standing up, so. The shots are turning out pretty nice. I'm gonna continue taking a few more detail shots now. Maybe get like some of the emblems like the of the uh, Honda logo and stuff like that. Maybe like the tail lights and stuff, and just see where the, also I'm paying attention to where the light is actually hitting the car, and what's kind of like accenting, like doing a lot of the reflections and stuff, because I kind of feel like that just makes the shots look that much doper, especially when I go, Especially when I take these photos, I put them in Lightroom and see how they're gonna turn out when I start editing them. With the color of my car, with the type of blue that it is, I know I can really make the color pop and shant, pop out and really kind of just stand out. So that's what I'm really gonna be looking forward to doing and seeing how much I can make that blue really just go, you know? probably look crazy with like two cameras in my hand right now right got the lumix g7 and the lumix s5 i might be doing too much but i also really like cameras guys 
So now after I have taken a couple photos with my Lumix G7 and the 20 millimeter lens, I am a little curious to see how it does stack up to my Lumix S5, which is the camera I'm vlogging with right now. So I wanna show you guys a few pictures as well that I took on my Lumix S5, just with the kit lens. I'm not even using a prime lens. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the 20 to 60 millimeter lens that comes on the camera. So, uh, I, cause I didn't notice that I was taking some photos of my Lumix G7 that was kind of like macro photos and this camera was really blurring out the background. So I'm tempted to take some photos. I just, I just got to show you guys the difference. Basically, this is the reason why you want to get a full frame camera, just to show you guys. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done with the shoot real quick. All right guys, so I'm pretty much done with the shoot with the Lumix G7 and my 2021 Honda Civic. It was just a quick little test shoot. Um, I do plan on showing you guys the photos. I'm actually gonna put them on my blog. Because on my blog, you can actually see the quality of the photos that I just took. So, so make sure you guys go to canoncorey.com. It's gonna be a link in the description if you guys wanna see the pictures that I took on this camera. But yeah, I think my final assessment is that you can definitely take some car photography with this camera and this lens. I think though in the future, I might use a wider lens. I might use the, the, the actual the kit lens that came with this camera. I just kinda got a little carried away with wanting the background to be blurred out. I, but I don't know, you know, maybe when I look back at these photos as I'm editing this video and also editing the photos, I might realize that maybe this is a good enough lens and I could just keep using it, so who knows. But I also wish that I had my 50 millimeter lens for my Lumix S5 so I, so I could have showed you guys some really, really dope photos of this car. I actually have some photos that I first took of this car with that lens when I got that lens about, once again, about a month ago as well. And those photos are just so dope. I've also been really tempted lately to go get the 35 millimeter lens for the Lumix S5 because I'm starting to believe that that is just the perfect lens of all time. But either way, hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm gonna be giving you guys more Lumix G7 videos, more Lumix S5 videos. I know the Lumix S5 Mark II is about to come out and to be honest right now, I don't really have a reason to get it because if you have the Lumix S5, just the Mark I right now, which is what I'm shooting on, this camera is a beast. I, I know, I've gone, and I've gone through a lot of different cameras in my time, but this camera may just be the only camera I, I want for the next couple of years, I'll just be honest with you. But I'm not taking anything from the Lumix G7. I definitely still love the Lumix G7 as well. So we're just gonna have to keep cracking out these videos for you guys. See you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go try to see if I can find a better location to shoot my car in because right now I'm just in a random park out here in Pearland, Texas. Peace.